partial homeland security shutdown, President Obama is ratcheting up the pressure on Republicans to do something about immigration. Let's bring in Congressman Carlos Curbelo, Republican from South Florida. His district covers FIU, the site of last night's town hall. Congressman, what a pleasure to see you. Jose, thank you very much for having me. Good to be with you. Thanks. You just heard the president. Does he have a point when it comes to the GOP? Well, uh, there are many Republicans here in Congress working to get immigration reform done. Unfortunately, the president and the White House keep playing politics with immigration. I wanted to be with you there in uh, Miami, Jose. I asked the president to travel down to Miami with him. I was told there was no room on the plane. And that's just enough. Example of how for this White House, when it comes to immigration, it's all politics all the time, and that's not going to help us work towards a goal. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I, I want to read this tweet that you uh, posted uh, last night. Hey, uh, Barack Obama, no worries about the diss today. Maybe now you're going to work with us on immigration to get it done. Still waiting to hear from the administration. What do you mean you're still waiting to hear from this administration? Tell me about that. I have had casual encounters with administration officials, Cecilia Munoz at the White House, who uh, I think is a very kind lady, uh, some of the uh, White House's legislative affairs staff. I have asked them uh, to contact me because I want to meet with them. I want to work with them on some issues, not just immigration, also trade, maybe on some education policy, which I'm very interested in. I have not received one call from this White House, and uh, it's been eight weeks now that I've been a member of the United States Congress. So that's why, Jose, I'm really starting to think that for this White House, especially on immigration, it's all about the politics, about putting points up on the board and not about getting things done. Where do you think, Arson, we're heading when it comes to Homeland Security, this standoff? Should Speaker Boehner just bring a clean funding bill before the House and deal with it before Friday? I have expressed support for a clean bill. I think that we should deal with DHS funding and immigration separately. Uh, I do not know a single Republican or Democrat uh, in, this, uh, in these buildings that wants to shut down the government, so I'm hopeful that that won't happen. So what do you think is going to happen between now and, and tomorrow? It's not like the deadline is coming up, you know, next week. It's, it's tomorrow. My personal goal is that we pass a funding bill uh, that will fund the Department of Homeland Security through September 30th. Uh, if for any reason we cannot achieve that, I'm confident that we will pass a short-term measure. I am very hopeful that we will not shut down the government. It would be a mistake. Uh, and if we want to have a, de a debate on immigration, which we should, uh, we should do that separately. And what do you think should be happening on immigration and what do you think some bipartisan efforts could achieve? I think we need to reform our country's immigration laws from A to Z, and that includes border security, visa modernization, and of course, a solution uh, for the undocumented. I'm walking into this debate without any preconditions. There are two extremes out there, and I think they're both bad. One is the amnesty policy uh, that we have seen fail in the past, and the other is this notion that we're going to deport everyone who uh, is uh, living in our country uh, outside of the law. That's not possible either. There's a lot of ground in the middle for us to work, Republicans, Democrats, uh, and to find a solution. I've been for immigration reform for a long time. In my Republican primary, I talked about immigration reform. I have been willing to spend political capital on immigration reform. The president and the White House have been playing games with immigration reform for a long time. That's why we're in this situation today. This president, Jose, did not give new members of Congress, like me, the opportunity to work with the White House before signing those executive of orders, and that's why we're at this impasse now. Now, I agree, my party, my party uh, shares uh, some of the blame, uh, but this White House has put us in a bad position and not shown goodwill when it comes to immigration. Congressman, appreciate your opinion. Thank you so much for being with me. Carlos Grubella from South Florida. Thank you.